Gotta get redemption for uh, last time I was here. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Bones here. Today, we had to go down to the south side of the island to install a fence. Let's get to it. We've got some of this old fencing that we need to get rolled up and tossed into the dump trailer so that we can go ahead, clear everything out and start putting up the new fencing. The next part for installing this fence, since we drove down the pole, Dad's using this pipe cutter to cut off the top, which is mushroomed out. Just like that. All right, now that we have these smaller poles in and the tops of them cut off, what we had to do next is take these larger poles right here, set them down inside the hole, drive it down, and cut off the top, and we can start stringing in the fencing. All right, it's time to start driving these babies in. We've now got all of the poles installed, so it's time to start hanging the fencing. We've got quite a bit of fencing done here, but it is taking longer than sort of expected because it's a very particular process to install this. First, we actually have to get the fencing up against the top line. And then I have to go through with these hog ties and clip it like that. Then once that's done, we have to go through on each one of these poles and put about five to six of these zip ties on. We wrap it around, tighten them up, cinch it, and cut them. So this whole process is fairly time consuming and we had about 200 linear feet that we had to do. We're on the home stretch though. And so what we're doing now is just driving some ground stakes to hold the bottom of this netting in place. That way nothing like rabbits or deer or anything can kind of get through it. The old man was like, oh, it'll only take two hours. He lied. By the way, I never do anything off of dad's time because uh, it's a gross underestimation of how long it'll actually take. Dad, how long was this supposed to take? Four days. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> if it is, four days would be it more accurate. Is, is it pain? <laughs> he was down here yesterday driving in most of the poles, getting a lot of the prep work done, tearing out the old fencing uh, that was destroyed. And today we went ahead, drove in the rest of the poles, put up all the fencing and finish it off. So. Really, it's not too bad for the uh, section that we had to do. So let me give you the story behind this project right here. So there was this kid a few blocks up the road from here. And I guess he got in a fight with his parents. He's about 16 or 17. And so he just wanted to get out of the house and get away and just kind of let the tension simmer down a little bit. So he came down this road to go visit his friends. But around three o'clock in the morning, he decided he wanted to go home. He wanted to go sleep in his own bed. He was getting pretty tired. So he started heading back from his friend's house back to his house. Well, because of how tired he was, he fell asleep at the wheel. He drove down this embankment, through the fence here, in between these two trees, and right there, that little spot that's kind of tore up, his vehicle hit and it flipped over onto his top. Thankfully, he was okay, as well as everybody else involved in this situation. But the reason that this is so crazy is that his car went in between these two trees right here. If he would have been off by another inch or two, he would absolutely be dead. And the other crazy thing is that the propane tank for the house is right there. So if he would have hit that, he not only would have killed himself, but the family inside of the house. We were already doing a bathroom remodel here. So the guy just contacted us and said, hey, is there any way you can help fix this fencing? So that's why we're here today. We are officially done with doing this fence. Now it's time to drive back up to the north side of the island. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy. Today we are installing a cabinet over at this local bakery. We've got it all painted and finished out. Now it's time for the fun part, which is installing it and putting the countertop on. Let's get to it. We 
got the cabinet all loaded up, so it's time to head over to the bakery and get this baby installed. We've now got the cabinet in place, so we had to cut the piece for the countertop, install that, and then put on the Formica. After that, we'll install the rest of the hardware for the drawers. We now have the countertop done. We need to go ahead, get it loaded up, take it over to the bakery, get it installed, and we'll be all done with this project. We have now got the countertop in place. What we had to do is go ahead and glue it down, and we still had to put out the backsplash so that none of the decorating supplies get all over the back of the wall. We've got the backsplash all done, so now time to install these cabinet handles. The first thing that we need to do is go ahead and draw out the holes for where the screws are going to go in from the back side. And with that, I hope that you liked this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you on the next one.